Missy from the Joyful Elf. Welcome back to another Festive Friday. Today we're going to use two stamp sets along with this really cute gingerbread paper from Kaiser Craft to create a Christmas card. And I picked one stamp set that's not um, holiday related. This is Sparkle and Shine by Stamp Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to use the Sparkle and Shine sentiment and this circle around it. From the stamp set Festive Greetings by W Plus 9, I'm going to use this um, strand of lights. And then I thought for the pattern paper, I like this one because there are papers that sparkle and papers that shine. <laughs> so hopefully you can see that. This came out last year. Those are find out the pages that kind of embossed or has some some shine and some texture to them this is kind of a muted palette um, reds greens browns it's very distressed and vintagey but I really was sewed on these gingerbread <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I got this paper so we're gonna use this sheet right here this kind of minty green and the color that we're gonna pair with this it's gonna be pink pirouette. So I think this is gonna be a really fun, feminine, really pretty, just a really pretty card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut and score. So I'm gonna cut my card stock. This is eight and a half by 11 card stock. I want a top folding card. So I'm gonna pull in my trimmer and I'm gonna line this up at four and a quarter. And I'm gonna cut it. So then I have two sheets of paper and I can get two cards from one piece of cardstock. And then I'm gonna bring in, let me bring in my card base real quick. So this is gonna be four and a quarter by five and a half. I want this paper to be an eighth of an inch smaller. So an eighth of an inch. <laughs> so we're gonna do four and an eighth inches wide and then we're going to do five and three eighths inches tall sorry metric people i don't know the metrics <laughs> i can barely do whatever it's called over here okay so then i want a layer for my piece but I want, see how short this one is? I want this one to be way smaller. So I'm gonna do four and a quarter, four, three and three quarters, three and three quarters. So instead of three and three quarters, it will be three, three and five eighths. by four and five eighths. I think this is right. Oh, my math. I really suck at math. I really do. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get that. And then for my white piece, I want it an eighth of an inch smaller. So that was three and five eighths. So we're gonna go to three and a half. And then five, four and a half. And that should give us an eighth of an inch border for the pinks. Let's see how my math did. I did a pretty dang good job. This is the panel we're gonna stamp on. So let me move everything out of the way and bring in my scoreboard. I'm considering starting a series called Stamping Basics 101 or Stamping 101 or Crafty 101. I'm not sure because I know that I have a lot of new crafters that watch my channel and people that watch my playing with me videos who are like, oh, card making, that looks interesting. <laughs> so 
I'm considering it with the new Stampin' Up! catalog launch, which demonstrators got a preview today, and oh my gosh. Oh gosh, it is so beautiful. The new in colors are fantastic. I mean, there's one that I'm like, oh, I don't know, but I've already have some ideas on other colors to use it. And you guys know me. I love color for sure. Okay, so we have our card base. We have our two layers, and then we have our focal panel. So let's go ahead and adhere our papers. I've got stuff everywhere. Using Fast Fuse, once again, I'm still out of snail. Placing my order next week. So hopefully by next, well, probably in the next couple weeks, <laughs> I should have some more snail. I could also fill up my um, ATG gun if, uh, number one, I could find my ATG gun, and number two, I could find my refills. Come on now, I didn't put it down all the way. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on, I didn't put you down all the way. Oh. Come on. another piece of this paper because this may have been the only sheet. <laughs> Daggum! I wouldn't even use Fast Fuse if I had the other stuff. I mean, this is more of like, well, I mean, I use it for the Saturdays for Soldiers because I know that's got to go through a lot of different climates, but... Jeez Louise. It's like you have one shot and one shot only. That's gonna have to do. That's actually not bad. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's bring in, I need a block. Oh, I need a block. Is this big enough? I uh, no. <laughs> no, Misty, that's not big enough. Thank you for trying. Thank you for playing along. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today's actually Thursday. And oh my gosh, guys, you've really overwhelmed me with all your comments on my video today. I'm really nervous about making that video because the internet can be a really cruel place. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna put my face out here for all these people to see. I didn't think it bowed well, but I did good. And you guys were fantastic. I really do appreciate it. Of course, I really didn't worry, you know, I don't worry about you, it's the other crazy people. <laughs> Uh-oh. <sighs> Maybe I should have searched for my Versamark before I started filming, because now I don't see where it is. Oh, this is not good. This is not a good thing. First of Mark, where are you, first of Mark? Come out from hiding wherever you are. When's the last time I embossed? I don't even remember. <laughs> All right, let me pause this video and see if I can find my Versa Mark ink pad because that's probably going to be pretty necessary. But you know what? No, it's not. 
No, it's not. I forgot. We'll try this. I have this little um, Tim Holtz embossing ink that actually came with this stamp set. This stamp set was part of a Simon Says stamp kit. So we'll give this a try. Oh, yay for the brain that works. Yay, my brain sometimes works. Yay. You guys know that song, Say Something? You know, I can't sing it. Crap. <sighs> anyway, it's called Say Something. Like, it goes, Say Something, I'm Giving Up On You, or whatever that song is. Oh my gosh, it's been in my head for three days. <sighs> that and that Happy Birthday 316, which actually is not as much in my head anymore as it was. My brain is just a revolving jukebox. I wake up and sing something different to my husband every day. He laughs. <laughs> he laughs. He likes it. Well, I don't know if he likes it, but he, he's my husband and he loves me, so he doesn't say anything about it. Okay, so uh, am I heat embossing the... Am I, am I going to heat emboss those? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm inking this up with my My Favorite Things hybrid ink because I want to color... with my Stampin' Night markers. And I learned the hard way that stays on is not the ink to use for that. <laughs> so. I'm trying to figure out how I want this to go. Ah, I got a little bit of shadowing, but you know what? I can fix it. So. We can fix that, no problem. Okay, get out my embossing buddy. So yeah, the new catalog is fantastic and it's basically brand new, which is awesome. So I can't wait to show you all the good stuff, all the new stuff. But until then, don't forget about the retired list because there are a lot of fantastic deals. I mean, you can get washi tape. Like I think the three piece washi tape sets are like for $1.99, which is an insane, an insane price because washi tape can be Either, either really cheap or very expensive. This is the Wow. Wait, is it Wow? Zing. Zing Silver Glitter Finish Embossing Powder. And even though I use my embossing buddy, it still wanted to stick a little bit. Oh, now I'm very sparkly. 
sparkly. I don't want to heat it yet. I'm gonna use Blushing Bride um, embossing powder. Now, as much as it pains me, Stampin' Up! has retired the colors. Like, man, I love the colors. So if you like the colors too, now is the time to get them. And can I say this embossing ink is cool but weird <laughs> because it doesn't seem as sticky. as the first mark is. <laughs> I don't have a scratch sheet of paper. just blow it everywhere. <laughs> okay, let me heat set this. You know, I don't think that S is supposed to stamp like that, but it did. I actually don't mind it too much. What do you guys think? Have I been in frame at all? <laughs> I, I think I need to... Okay, I had to adjust my camera, so I'm back. Okay, let me grab some markers. I'm gonna use Pink Pirouette, no, Blushing Bride, and Pistachio Pudding. Pistachio Pudding is retiring, but there is a color that is taking its place that is still rather beautiful. So every other one is gonna be green. I messed up a little bit. That's all right. That's all right, I think this will go right over it. How about I go out outside of the lines too, Misty? Jeez Louise. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let me bring in Smoky Slate. We'll color in the ends of the light. Okay, then I'm gonna hit them with my Wink Estella. Perfect. And then I got that little shadowing. So I'm going to take a white gel pen.
colored in. What do you guys think of that? I like it. Okay, where did my cardstock go? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, my damn. Let's see how this lines up. Okay. So um, you're going to see, not a word, because we're finished with Vita, but there is going to be a video explaining how to enter because someone brought it to my attention that I may need to change that up just a tad. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring in dimensionals because I don't even want to bother. <laughs> I, I'm possibly accidentally, you know, ripping up that bottom paper because it's been through the ringer. And you guys know me. I'm the queen of adhesive. I like to put a lot because I don't want things to fall off in the mail. I don't know what tune that was. <laughs> I'm going to leave the inside of this one blank for now. I've kind of been doing that with a lot of them lately. Just because I think once we get a little closer to Christmas, I'll decide what I want the inside to say. So let me open it up and <laughs> make sure I have it the right way. Shimmer, shimmer and sparkle and shine. Let's add some crystal effects to the lights so they more look more like light bulbs. Each time I think I've done this so it won't make a mess, I've lied to myself. And crystal effects is Stampin' Up's version of glossy accents. So I've started using it instead of glossy accents because with my demonstrator discount, it works out to be a little bit cheaper. Oh, come on now. Come on now. You can do it. I need a piece of scratch paper. <laughs> And normally, if you leave a pin in, that seems to help, but move it out of the way so I don't get it. stuff all over it. But you guys know me, I probably will. There we go. It just took a little coaxing. Then come out and play, Crystal Effects. You know you want to. I'm just putting on a very light coat because I want this to dry so I can get some pictures taken. This is the first Festa Friday in May. Holy cow. We are five months into 2015. Holy cow. <laughs> Whoa. This year f feels like it's flying. And I know if everybody's probably, what did I do with the pen? Oh, ha, it stuck to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay guys, 
So I guess my thoughts on this little distress embossing ink that it's it's all right. It's very like very thin, but I mean the emboss but the embossing powder stuck a little too well right there. But I don't think it looks looks horrible, right? It's kind of cute. I like it. You guys know me. If you've watched me long enough and watched my Christmas series long enough, you know that I am a huge fan of colors that are um, different, like non-traditional Christmas colors. So this one is right up my alley. So thanks so much for watching. As always, links will be in the description box below. If you are on a desktop, all you have to do is hit that show more um, area and it'll open you up to all the links that I can link to with direct links to the store. So if it's from Simon Says Stamp or whatever, it'll take you directly there. The only affiliate links I have are the ones from Stampin' Up. So if you go to those links then and make a purchase, then that is through me. So yeah. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. It feels weird not to have to say, you know, Vita, whatever, but <laughs> we're done. We finished Vita. So this is May 1st. Thank you again for all your lovely comments on yesterday's video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow for another Saturdays with Soldiers. Don't forget to look for the video explaining the card. Not the card. The giveaway. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.